uh, and they need to speak similar to that. Mm? Wow. A very rustic way to use the voice to, to, to create uh, their own character, to create environment about the character. Um, they cannot speak in English. I came and cannot, I came and no. cannot speak in English. <laughs> no. and that would be... <laughs> was there uh, another movie that was an inspiration for The Caveman? Uh, I will tell you something. I am very proud to say there is a movie I really love. The Quest for Fire. Uh -huh. The director is Jean Jackson. He's a French director. Uh, he used a very big production. The 20th Century Fox product that movie is almost 30 years ago. I'm a movie, it's an independent, low budget movie, but I never wanted to really copy that movie. But I have to recognize that that movie really inspired me. Not only the movie, the director. Um, I have a director I love from here, United States, from Europe, and from Asia. Um, and I wanted to, to combine all many different styles from many different countries or for many different ways to make movies in my movie. Um, I don't like to use only American style or only um, or European style or only Asian style. I like pro all the different style to do the best I can support in my movie or any other future movie. Okay, okay. So we are, are is this going to be like a part two to this? What do you say? A part two? No, I don't think necessary. I don't think it's necessary because the movie is more about idea and the people who is watching the movie finally interpret uh, his own story on how they want to end the story. And the people uh, ending the movie, they close the idea about the evolution. Okay. Um, uh, oh. <laughs> All right, now tell us, it what can um, young people can get out of this sort of movie? What kind of vision can young people get? The young people? Young. Young people. Children. Can kids. Children? For this movie? Yeah. Uh, I try to make a story for adult people, for uh, adult young people, for teen and child. I try to make a fictional, to create a fictional story, but also uh, contribute with the education. The evolution is something happened to everybody, mm -hmm. and I wanted to uh, create something more educative, to entertain, but also to, to learn something from this. Because everything happened, this story, different way happened right now or happened long time ago. Right. And that involved all the people. And I, th and I thought in the real beginning that the child could learn or can use this movie to understand much better where they are. Mm? I don't want to give away the plot of the movie, but... Speaking of children and artistic talent, there is an element of artistry in the movie? Uh, yes. With the caveman? Yeah. Uh, also, let me tell you something. I think that they, they, for the children, the caveman people look very interesting. Because the, the, the child, the children <laughs> interpret the caveman like an adventure. It's a, it's a very, it, it very it's nice chance for the children to interpret any idea I want to, to tell very easily. Mm -hmm. Also, you can teach something or you can offer the, the chance for them to learn something depend how they interpret what I want to show in my movie. And I thought I wanted to make something very open for the real children people, also the adult people. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the, the outfit again. You know, you know, was you really comfortable with it, and how was you, you know, <coughs> well, did you wear it on a day-to-day -day basis? Actually, I was comfortable with it. 
Well, um, it was it was it was an experience as far as that goes. I mean, as far as the plot and what he um, what Sebastian had done with it, mm -hmm. I thought it was a it was it was an interesting perspective, and uh, and I, I said what I got out of it was um, kind of like what I what we had come from or whatever. But it was just kind of again, it's just like kind of being a part of part of this that was in in as far as a part of this was being interesting that I kind right. of really enjoyed out of it. So, um, uh, take me to where that uh, it was a certain part in the movie where you know. Um, in the cave, uh, the guy was picking up something and putting it in the bag. Okay, uh, I will repeat once again. The actor represents an actor. The costume for me is one more actor. The landscape is another actor involved all together to create a story. The back, you find the, uh, the Anthony Oritma character find into the cave is one more element. Without the bag, they came and people cannot tell the story. The, 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 it's well the people who is watching the movie know what the came are charging, are charging into the bag. They don't know yet why. The final secret, mm -hmm. the people will discover. Mm. Why the real proposal? For what is so much important the back during all the long Cayman story? The people have to watch all the long story to discover it on the on the final the secret for what about the back? Ah, so the, mm. the bag was the secret. The bag without without bag, the Cayman cannot tell the idea about. Yes. It, it, it's a real supporting actor the back. And once again, Susan created the back. Oh. It's one more, for me, it's another character. Yeah, and the bag itself, or what it, had, what it was, the, the, the story had gotten out here was that um, these artifacts had been ours at the time. There, and when we were out there taking our naps, whatever that was when um, Anthony came and took the bag. Mm -hmm. And where the perspective of the story came out was the fact you know, that um, we realized the bag was gone. Because they say it was very, it was kind of part of our heritage, and of course the mud person decided he was going to steal our bag here. So what wound up happening is, <laughs> what wound up happening is we actually, um, it was later on the way the story um, rolled out. It was later on that um, when the caveman, of course, had I known that he had stolen my bag, I probably wouldn't have rescued him from the cliff. I probably just did one of these and uh, pushed him off, you know. But <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> but uh, as it turned out, you know, it was. Um, at the time, it was unknown that this is what had happened. That this, this was actually our bag. As it came down to it, was um, when we found out when I was looking through the bag and found out that it was um, it was our stuff there. Then we realized that who this person was, and that's what kind of enraged, which kind of set up the final scene when we seen him drawing the sand there. And that that itself actually plays a part in itself because on the final sequence there, where they have like the painting there. Mm -hmm. Is actually when he's kind of get thrown off, and you can see they're kind of um, going down there, and that's what we say because we took we, we kind of he hold him off there because he, hey, let's face it, he stole our stuff, yeah. <laughs> he stole <laughs> our heritage, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it it, it, unf it, unf it kind of unfolded that way. It was um, the fact that it's it, it was something that was took taken right from our, from us, and then he was took it and well. Of course, we he had to pay the price, you know. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, All right, well, we are uh, we're coming to an end of my show now, and I am so happy to be a part of your show, and in, um, in the future, um, here in Tucson, and I'm so happy that uh, you came to my show. With and thank your, you so much for your invitation, uh, you. Gary for your uh, Gary Coleman show. Um, and also, but I want to invite the people to continue watching on the future during the next time, uh, Evolution and the Enigmas of Time. After two, so we'll continue to show during the next weeks. Also later um, by internet, but that will be later yet. And also, you never know, depending on how we running uh, in time, the option to show the movie in the local TV cable, we will have news pretty soon. Uh, so, uh, there are many different ways to, 
to be very close to the evolution. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Can I put in a plug, J Gary? Yeah. Oh, we can stop any time. <laughs> oh. Okay, last plug on you. I would like to invite the audience to watch my programs as well. They're entitled Departures to Alpha Centauri and the evacuation of seven billion people from planet Earth that's sponsored by the United Galactic Federation of Planets. And my shows are on Monday nights at 5.30 and 6 and on Thursday nights at 7.30, and then every third Saturday at 8.30. Great, great, great. So we'll be looking for good things to come out of your show. Hopefully. Okay, Hopefully. <clears throat> okay that's about the end of it. Thank you all so much for being Thank here. <laughs> Thank you for the time.